Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. My name is Ellie and I make videos about content strategy and various other business tips to help you grow your side hustle and online business. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, definitely make sure that you stick around for this video and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I will provide you with a guideline that you can follow so that you can create content that you can repurpose and then I will also provide and share several ways that you can use to actually repurpose your content. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the first item on the guideline. The first thing that you should do is to really identify your hero or your macro content. And I previously made a video in which I go more in depth as to what your hero or your macro content is and how to design that. So if you're interested in that, definitely go ahead and watch that video that I previously made. I will go ahead and link it down below. The second thing on the guideline is that you're going to want to determine the frequency at which you will be posting new macro content. So for example, if you determine that your macro content will be YouTube videos, then you want to know whether you will be posting them weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, or whatever best suits your schedule. You also want to determine what specific day you will be posting. Sticking to a specific day really helps you plan ahead, which is important for your consistency. And in addition, this also helps you stay accountable with your own goals because you have a set deadline for each time you're gonna post new content. So yeah, I definitely encourage you to set a specific day and the frequency at which you will be posting. So number three is to select the idea or topic that you want to create content for. And I really encourage you to have a place in which you store all of your ideas and then just go ahead and allocate those ideas to different days. So for example, for this video, I selected the topic of repurposing content. So after you select your idea, the next thing, number five, is to go ahead and do research on that topic. So research can look different for different people. Some of the ways that I conduct research is that I read several articles on a topic, I watch several videos, and I always make sure that I am taking notes on any resource that I am reading or watching. This research step is very important because you want to be well informed about the topic that you will be elaborating on, and you also want to make sure that you're identifying the gaps that you don't see being talked about currently so you can go ahead and fill in those gaps with the content that you will be creating. And I've mentioned this several times on my platform, but you want to make sure that you're never copying and pasting what someone else is saying or writing. And of course, you want to add your own flavor, your own personality and contribute something new to that. You always want to be drawing inspiration during the research phase, but never taking people's ideas and then claiming them your own. So tip number five, this is one of the most important ones in my opinion. Tip number five is to create your transcription. Create your transcript. In other words, you're going to create an outline based on the research that you conducted for any given topic of interest. And this is the important part for several reasons. Number one, it allows you to lay out your ideas in a concise and structured manner so that then you can go ahead and distribute that information to your viewers. Number two, it's very important because this is what you will be using to then make content for other platforms in addition to your macro content. And another reason why this is very important is because this is the main piece of content that you will be utilizing to then go ahead and make content for several platforms. Okay, so let's get into what that will look like by going into step number six first. Step number six is to create your macro content from this transcript. So for example, if your macro content is your blog, you want to make sure that you are structuring your outline in a way that makes it effective as an article for your blog. If your macro content is your YouTube, then you want to make sure that you are utilizing this outline as a reference point that you can use to create your YouTube video. And now let's get into number seven, which is really where we're going to do a deep dive into repurposing. Number seven is to use your 
outline your transcript that you created to sprinkle pieces of information across your other social media platforms or whatever platforms that you use for your business. So let's say that you used your initial transcript to create a blog post. One way that you can repurpose that is to then create a pin for Pinterest that you can then use to link back to your blog post and drive traffic to it. Another way that you can repurpose information in your initial transcript is to create short form videos. So for example, you can take pieces of information to use for your TikToks or your Reels. And a really cool app that you can use to repurpose one video into these several short form platforms is to film and edit your video in the app InShot. This app will allow you to export your video without a watermark that then you can use for both Instagram and TikTok. You can also take parts of your transcript and make a carousel for Instagram. In other words, you can make an infographic. I like to make my infographics on Canva because it allows me to use templates that I had already pre-made and then just add in little snippets of whatever topic I am elaborating on for that particular week. You can also use parts of your script to write an email for your email subscribers, which I really suggest you have. And if you wanna know more about email, I actually previously made a video on email marketing for beginners. So if this is something you want more information on, go ahead and watch that video. Another way that you can use your transcript to repurpose that information is by making Instagram stories. So something that I like to do is to take snippets from my transcript, make informative Instagram stories, and then go ahead and save those as highlights on my Instagram page so that any viewer can access at any time because it'll be saved on my Instagram profile. Another way to repurpose is that if your macro content is creating YouTube videos or any videos, you can actually take clips of those videos and add them onto your Instagram, for example, and then make little IGTV clips that can stay on your Instagram profile for other people to reference. Even if your hero content isn't YouTube videos, you can always make video forms of your initial transcript, which again, you can also save as an IGTV. Another way that you can use your transcript to repurpose that into another content type is by going live on Instagram or Facebook, which you can do simultaneously. So for example, you can be referencing your outline as you go live, and the cool thing is that then you can save that live as an IGTV video on your Instagram page. So those are seven ways that you can take your initial transcript and then repurpose it for other platforms of interest so as you can see that initial transcript is super important because you don't have to keep creating the information you don't have to keep rethinking about what you're gonna say right like all you have to do is reference that initial outline and copy paste snippets or just use it as you're speaking to a video for example and that's it. All the work that had to be done was mainly in the beginning research phase, which is what you needed to create that initial outline. And a bonus tip that I want to provide for you is to not be afraid to repurpose old content. So for example, if previously you made content that performed really well, then go ahead and make minor edits and updates to that and post it as new, fresh content. So there you have it. This is a general guideline that you can utilize to create content that you can repurpose and you will also have several tips and ways that you can utilize so that you can effectively repurpose your content. And I also want to note that I have previously made freebies to help you with your content strategy. So if this sounds of interest to you, then definitely go ahead and check out the description box where you can find the link to these freebies. Okay, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you are also a woman on her entrepreneurial journey to grow her side hustle and online business, then definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you part of this community. Also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram to just learn so many more things about content strategy and other very useful business tips. 
With that being said, go watch my other videos and I will see you next week for a new one. Bye.